What is up, guys? This is your man, TLD Crabman, and I am here with another fantastic video. Yeah, and today we're going to be looking at my Ranger build on Bless Unleashed. So, I'm um, sure everybody has noticed that I'm no longer doing a bunch of Bless Unleashed content due to the fact that, um, well, plain and dry, there's not a lot of content to do for Bless Unleashed that y'all already don't know and it would just be a repeat of videos and I'm not that kind of YouTuber. I don't I don't like just making you or I don't like clickbaiting people into watching bullshit. I, I don't like that. So, uh today I figured I'd show y'all my build. Uh, was a lot of people have requested. So, we're going to start off with the blessing I'm using currently. The blessing I'm using currently is the crescent moon. Um I was using um, Lineheart, uh, which, I mean, is a good blessing as well. But I am using Crescent Moon and focus more on the Erupting Arrow and the Fire from Above. Uh, Parting Shot, not so much, and the Tempest Volley. Okay, so, if we go into my gear. Yes, I do not have full Mythic gear at the moment, which is okay. I'm not really too concerned on it, but as you can tell up here, I'm trying to get uh, one more white to get my critical hit damage um, up there and then I have my attack power and all that good stuff. My attack power right now is rocking at 5,300 with defense of 6,400 and health at 6,700 and my crit hit rate at 17%. I am rocking the Birch Composite Bow with the Patrol uh, Quiver using the Reload Increases Critical Hit Rate for 3% for 5 seconds. Um, increase critical hit, increase critical hit, increase defense is always on my legs, increase critical hit rate, and increase attack power, increase attack power, um, reduce erupting arrow cooldown by 3.5 seconds, and then um, I am currently rocking the horde necklace. I could do the Rosé's Necklace for the penetration, but um, I'm, I'm liking the Horde. And then I have the Restores HP equal to 2% of damage dealt upon the f two affected enemies. Okay, so now the reason why you might ask why do you have so many greens on your boots is because I want to eventually get those green runes so that way I can replace something else um, and not have to worry about my rune count for my perks up here now granted I don't really have to because I have another piece of equipment that if I upgrade it it will give me another white which will I'll have all my benefits over here and uh, which will be nice but pretty much um, my build is more focused around the erupting arrow and um, crit hits are like amazing with this build as well as health um, I don't get as many crit hits as everybody else but I still get a pretty good amount as you can hear them going off um, and I just like the ability to non-stop use that erupting arrow and which gives me an included buff so I'm gonna try to use uh, the erupting arrow for that buff really quick here um, and you can see I'm at 5,600, almost 6,000 attack power with that buff on. So, which is pretty nice. Um, I also have, the reason why I went with Crescent Moon this time was because of the crit hits. You can do your fire from above, which gives you uh, multiple chances for crits. And then I have as my passive, the speed reload. And which is pretty nice and then as well as I rock crescent moon because I like the crit hit um, capability when you're stacking your trigger here the crit hits that you can pull out are just amazing um, but uh, that's pretty much it guys I'm, I'm rocking the whispering serpent god ring as well um, it's, it's a very simple build 
Um, I like having all my buttons, uh, X, Y, and B, and A as my combos. Uh, just because it's easier to navigate. So, like, um, I'll show you guys my typical button press. I usually rock the Y and then the B with the quick arrow in there. Just because it's a quick pinch. And you put damage quicker than if I was to do it the other way. I'm not liking the ring. Um, the nerf is uh, kind of upsetting. Just because of the amount. You have to do like a special to actually get the health. So like right there, I got, I don't know, probably close to 500 health. That's, hmm. I mean, it's fair though. It's, it's, it's fair. It's not, I would do more like 2.8, maybe 3%, but, um, it's not too bad. So I'll take it. I'll take whatever. I'll, I'll keep the ring. I'd rather them quit dicking with it and I can have it, but, uh, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed my build. Um, please look into the future. I will be coming out with more grounded videos as well as um, any update videos for Bless. Any information or new events or anything of the sort. Anywhere I can help you guys, I will be trying to attend to that. And uh, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what uh, your ideas of a build should be or if I'm a little low on my crit hits you know just talk to me let me know what you think in the comments down below if you're not a subscriber here please consider subscribing I do used to do a lot of blessed content now it's just more news and update information videos I do grounded videos I'm gonna be start doing fish videos and stuff as well um, and I still have my surprise unfortunately you guys I'm I have to wait to start that series um, around September just because I have to wait for a certain store to open up for us to be able to start doing this stuff. So that series, I think you guys are going to like a lot. But uh, other than that, um, thank you guys for joining. If you have any questions or anything, please comment down below or hit the Discord. Um, there's a link to it that will be posted down below that you can join the Discord and hang out and chat with us. The Discord's been kind of slow lately, but uh, if you join in and chat, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will respond to you. Um, and chat with you about whatever questions or anything you guys have. We have an awesome community around there. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you all next time. Peace.